This is a review of the Xiaomi Yi security camera. Um, I got this from AliExpress for 30 US dollars shipped to my door. And it uh, comes very Spartan in packaging, very uh, minimalistic following ripping off uh, Apple or following Apple. Um, this camera is not really available outside of China, I don't think, but I ordered it and uh, people have been using it and there's some pretty good uh, reviews on it. So this is my take on it. Uh, I ordered the one with 750 TV lines and, it ha and there's um, infrared LEDs within the bezel here in this, in this little round piece uh, around the lens. So it, it has infrared so that you can uh, use it at night without any light at all so it has active night vision uh, the build quality is quite nice um, it's made from this uh, this acrylic or polycarbonate plastic with a hinge so you can move it around it has a nice solid base it's very light the camera itself is just this little part here which looks like you can remove from this ring micro USB for the power um, it has a micro SD slot right here that you can put an SD card in to record video. Uh, I'll show some of that video later. Uh, yeah, this is pretty minimalistic. Uh, I got it connected to my phone. It works uh, good. I'll do a video on connecting it up to my phone as well. So, um, what I like about it, it's 720p. It records to the SD card in MP4 format, which is quite nice, so uh, H.264. Um, so I'm just going to go over the box and see what else it says here. Uh, comes. This is a 1 amp adapter. Oh yeah, so it comes with an adapter and a micro USB cable and the camera itself. So it's not too much in the box. That's pretty much just all that's in here. I won't bother to open it. Little manual that's all in Chinese that's practically useless for me. Um, yeah, oh, and also has a mic and a speaker, so there's two-way communication between it and the phone, which is really nice. So, yeah, that's just a really quick review of this, and uh, I'm going to do a second video uh, hooking it up, so uh, I'll post that right after this video. Other than that, there's not too much to this camera. You can, um, it, the night vision works well, the daytime, the the, uh, the quality of it is quite nice. Um, yeah, there's not too much else to say about it. So, I'll, uh, I'll post a video after this on how to set it up. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to connect this uh, Xiaomi Yi security camera up to your phone. And you have to get the Mi Home app. I think there's a standalone camera app for this, but I couldn't get that to work. So I found this uh, Mi Home app, and it works Okay, uh, I had a little bit of problem getting to connect the first few times, but eventually I figured it out. Um, the app is in English and in Chinese, which is kind of odd, um, but at least there's enough English there that'll uh, that'll let you get it up and running. So I wasn't able to get it in the Google Play Store. I had to go find uh, a version of this, and I'll post it in the description below of the version that I used. I suspect that uh, any version will be very similar to hook up. Um, um, if it's not the same version that I'm using because I'm sure there will be updates after I post this video. You'll need um, a Mi account that you'll have to set up. So you'll have to go set up a, an account with the Mi, um, Xiaomi Mi. And what that allows you to do is to log into this uh, app. And I've already done that. So I won't bother to show, to show that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the camera and it's going to tell me uh, some stuff in Chinese, which is kind of odd, and then I'll just uh, I'll uh, I'll pair it up with the phone and get it working. So right now, it's like it came from the factory. So I did a factory reset on it, which is to mention there's a reset button on the back with a little pinhole, and you push in with that with a paper clip or something, and it resets the camera. Okay, I want to plug it in, and a little LED light comes on. So it says something. 
It says some stuff in Chinese. I think it's saying it's ready to be paired or how wonderful I am. So I'm going to go into the app. Okay, wait until the light starts blinking. I'm going to go in here into the app and I'm going to add the Yi Small Ants camera. What a name. We'll go in here, click next. I, uh, I, will, I have to enter in my. So connect it to a Wi Fi router. So I enter in my password here. So connect it to uh, a Wi Fi router on your home network. And for, for whatever reason, it goes and actually finds this camera, even though there's no communication between the two directly. So it must send out a signal. So now it connected. So it's going to connect to the cloud services. And now it's going to try to connect to the camera. And as you can see, the light changed. And it's saying some other stuff in Chinese. So now the light gone to a blinking blue. And when it goes to a solid blue, it means the camera is connected and synced up and ready to view. There. Okay. So now it's gone solid. We'll wait for it to finish connecting. Okay. So it says it found one device and it's connected. Uh, it gives you the Chinese name, which is kind of funny. So I'll click on it here. There we go. I'm a little bit far from my router, but uh, so it's a little choppy. But yeah, there you go. works good. So I'll show you some of the features on this app real quick and the features of the of the actual um, camera itself. What you can do is you can take a snapshot here with this button. There's a two-way communication with the mic so if I speak into it it'll come out this side and I can also hear stuff coming back through which is kind of neat. So it's got two-way voice communication, which is really neat. Um, high definition, low definition, you can scroll back and forth um, if you're not in landscape mode, which I'll show you here. The time, I couldn't get figured out on the time. The time shows Beijing time. It's 12 hours difference from me, so a minor issue. I read somewhere that people can do a telnet or um, tunnel into the camera itself in order to, to change the, uh, the time zone. Uh, okay, so I'm going to hit that, and now I'm in landscape mode, and I can have full view. The quality of it's really nice, I have to say. Um, so what's neat is now this is going flew through their cloud services, which, for good or for bad, they're mining my information or the pictures. No different than probably Google, but it's in some server in China, I'm sure. Anyways, uh, the quality is really nice, and you can connect via when you're on your... Um, on your mobile network, not you don't have to be connected to your home Wi-Fi uh, in order to view, to check on your camera. So it's all built in. Um, okay, so under there's you can rename the device. So I'm going to rename it. Um, I'll rename mine Camera One. At least give it a name that I can understand. So, there's a firmware update, unpaired the device to disconnect it. Um, you can also apparently, I think, view the videos that it's recorded on the SD card right on this, uh, right on the phone. So, we can go back and forth. So, there's motion detect detection recording. So, it'll record anytime something moves in front of the, in front of the camera or it sees a dip change in the difference of the, of the video when someone's walking by or what have you. Uh, there's a few other little settings here that I haven't played with. There's the camera LED, which uh, to make it inconspicuous, you can turn that off. So when I hit that, turned off the LED. Um, there's also an SD 
standard definition and a high definition mode. I don't know if you can see that here. Or an auto mode. Um, that's kind of neat. But yeah, that's pretty much it um, for this app. It's uh, Once it's all connected up, it's all good to go. Uh, so far, I really like this camera. Uh, so I'm going to append some videos at the end of this uh, of this uh, video here of the quality of uh, the night vision and during the day, how, uh, how good the resolution is on this. So again, it records 720p and uh, it records sound as well, which is really neat. So that's my review of this. Thanks for watching. Until next time.